Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Allie's Amazing Scents. If you're new here, my name is Allison, your independent Scentsy consultant, and today I have a party closeout haul to share with you. So let's dive in. Um, if you saw my last video, you know that I'm in Maddie's room right now filming, and the lighting is not great, so I apologize. It is what it is. So this order was just a party closeout, so everything in here was either free or half off. Um, I have 27 items in here. So, let's dive in. Try to use parties to stock up on things that either um, I use a lot or, you know, don't want to pay full price for. Um, so, cotton cleanups. That's a great thing to purchase with a party because these are $10 a piece now. Um, but... These things do a great job of cleaning up wax and in my warmers where they're going 24 seven in my bedroom and I just, this is a great way to change out those warmers. You just dip it in the wax, soaks it up and you're good to go. So I got a whole pack of those. These should last me a while till I am ready to close out another party in a couple months or so. Got this for my uh, five-year-old Maya. No, not dog detangling spray. This will be the third bottle we've purchased. Um, this this does great in her hair, better than any product I've ever used at detangling her hair. And it's this one is coconut milk and lavender. We still have about a half a bottle of our current stuff, but again, I was closing out a party, so this is normally ten dollars, I believe. Possibly 12. Mmm. That lavender is nice and relaxing in there. So that's a good scent. We're cycling through trying all the scents in in the um, dog detangling spray. <laughs> um, I got a bathroom cleaner in vanilla mint. So I recently used up, um, finished up a bathroom cleaner in Luna. Which I absolutely love, love, love in bathroom. And I was sad to see it go. I think I have one left. But I really like vanilla mint and cleaning. Well, in all the things. But I really like it in cleaning. And having that nice, fresh, minty, clean scent in your bathroom is great. I actually happen to have vanilla mint and wax going in my bathroom right now. So um, I think that this will really be a nice... Um, scent and I'm guessing that they may retire it for spring summer um because I mean it's got like you know horse drawn carriages and stuff it just it's it is more of a winter scent um but it's really nice in cleaning and if they do retire it I, I hope they bring it back next year in cleaning um I stocked up oh here we go some scent circles I got a six pack of scent circles um, I do like to send out one, um, if a customer places an order, I like to send them one as a thank you. So, Frosted Vanilla, um, I haven't got to try this in, um, a scent circle yet because I did give my last one away to a customer, but I think it would be pretty strong. Um, it's strong in wax and fairly long lasting. Black Currant and Plum. Uh, same with this one. I haven't tried it yet, but I think it would be a lighter scent just because it is lighter in wax. Velvet Moon. Um, this would probably be lighter in the car. Uh, and I don't know how long it would last, but it's such a pretty scent. So, um, I do want to try that in the car. Same with the Fluffy Fleece. Um, I want to try this. I think it would be a pretty strong, long-lasting one. White Amber Antique. That's a nice one for, um like a gender neutral scent, but um, if you needed something to give to a guy, they would probably enjoy this. And then aloe water and cucumber, you can never go wrong with this scent. So that is the six pack of scent circles that I got. I got a lot of laundry stuff. Um, I have been going through my washer whiffs, all my laundry cycling through it. And so I haven't had to purchase any I haven't purchased Laundry Love bundles in a while, or washer whiffs. I actually have my last load of washer whiffs going right now. Except I do have some ocean, but I'm not willing to bust that out yet. So, I stocked up on some laundry. I still am okay on laundry uh, liquid. The only thing that I purchased was some whiffs, which we'll go through, and 
uh, Scent Soft and Fluffy Fleece, which Maddie will be a little disappointed. She wanted me to get the Scent Soft in Black Raspberry Vanilla, but that's what we have now. And um, Fluffy Fleece is just such a great scent. And you know, with this um, Scent Soft, it doesn't give out a lot of fragrance, so I can really use this with any kind of whiffs, but it does a great job at keeping your clothes soft. So I do always like to get one of those when I close out a party. And then laundry. Love to get laundry. The best deal is to get the laundry love bundle when you close out a party. But like I said, I don't need um, I don't need any more laundry liquid. So I actually got two tubs, two of the big tubs, and then three of the small whiffs. You can bundle the small whiffs in a three pack. So I did that as a half off item. So my first one I used for a half off item was a full size washer whiffs of fluffy fleece. This is wonderful in laundry. It's worth all the hype it gets. It's strong. It's clean. It's lovely. And again, it does have a winter theme on it. But because this is so popular, they may keep it around in spring, summer. At least I'm hoping. Um, if not, there'll be a lot of people stocking up on this. But yeah, such a good scent. And, and it's a powerhouse too in laundry. And then, of course, I had to get Maddie another black raspberry vanilla. She's been asking about this. This is still in the old packaging that doesn't have all the cute little designs on it. But um, same product, works just as well. And actually, the last few washer with tubs I've gotten of black raspberry vanilla it has been in this older packaging. So they're probably just, you know, trying to use these up first. But this is a really great scent in laundry because it's so unique to laundry. Um... You know, fl fluffy fleece is nice, but it still has that laundry note to it where this is, you know, not something that you would expect your laundry to smell like. Um, and it's really strong in laundry. I found in wax, it's, you know, fairly light and other products, it kind of varies. But um, in washer whiffs, this is definitely something you can smell in your clothes afterwards. Same with fluffy fleece. They're both powerhouses in my experience. So... I can't recommend black raspberry vanilla enough in the washer whiffs. And like I said, I got three little ones. And the, these are my um, half off. Uh, I, I, I bundled three and I got the bundle for half off. So the first one is clothesline. I've actually never tried clothesline in laundry. I'm not a huge, huge fan of it in wax or I've also had it in Scentsy Fresh because it's very strong and and it has a little bit of a floral note to it where I prefer clean breeze but I thought you know since it's so strong it'd be interesting to see how it sticks on your clothes after you wash them and that is a nice I don't dislike it um, I just prefer clean breeze but if this stays good on your clothes it might be just the right amount of this scent so Clean Breeze. And then um, Scentsy Clean. Speaking of, of Scentsy Clean, the OG, original, just basic clean laundry scent. Oh, so good. Hmm. I think if I had to choose between this and Fluffy Fleece, I would still choose this. Because it's just so fresh and clean, and it doesn't have floral notes or powdery notes or anything. It's just straight up clean laundry. Love it. Love it. Love it. The next one I have not tried, um, but I'm curious, and this is uh, Pink Cotton. I don't know why I've never tried it in whiffs. It's a good performer in um, wax. Mm, pink Cotton. So good. This will be a fun one. I'm excited to try that. So between my two giant tubs and my three smaller containers, I should be good on washer whiffs for a while. And then the last thing we have is wax. I think I have two six packs here. It looks like that's about the right amount. Um, so the first one I have is Velvet Moon. So what I tried to do with wax in here is I stocked up on stuff, basically winter scents that I love. Um, this one I probably will end up putting in my club if it goes away anyway, but it was a good one to stock up on. Oh, yes, so good. This is a new floral this season. And it's such a great winter floral. 
It really has that. It just, one of the scent notes in it is like foggy mist, which doesn't really tell you much, but you really do kind of get that vibe with it. Mm. So good. Frosted Vanilla. This is another new one, and this is probably the one that I feel like has gotten the most hype out of the new scents. People love this. Not everyone loves it, though. I do. It reminds me of um, a little bit of um, like Arctic Kiss, but it has a smokiness to it that reminds me of Bonfire Beach, so... It is unique though, it's its own scent. Very good. Um, with a name like this, it will probably probably retire Frosted Vanilla, but um, that one I'll probably put in my club too. Next one is in my club. I'm super obsessed with this scent, and so I always have to throw in a bar every time I get an order until it goes away. And this is Gimme Candy. It's supposed to be like candy corn, caramel. I just get butterscotch straight up like super sweet like Dairy Queen dipped cone butterscotch and I love it and I probably talk about this in like every video <laughs> I'm sorry but so good um, this was the scent of the month in September of this year and by far the best scent of the month that Scentsy had this year and just amazing so I love it um, I also got another eucalyptus wreath this has been in my club um, it was new last year um fall winter i don't know if i'm gonna put it in my club this year i really like it and i like that it's a fresh eucalyptus i'll, I'll have to look and see how many bars I have it's such a good fresh eucalyptus it's not medicinal it's so clean and yeah probably have to put that back at least in my quarterly Another new release that I have fallen in love with, Crane Apple Crumble. This might be my favorite of the new releases. I don't know. It's up there. Oh, so good. It's a lot like um, Caramel Apple Craze, but without that kind of butter note that that one has. Just sweet, delicious bakery apple with none of that cinnamon, none of the spice, just whipped cream topping on top. Delightful. Delightful. Going to my club. Um, what do we have here? Another bar of frosted vanilla. That's my dad's favorite of the new releases, so picking up an extra one will not hurt. Okay, we have, what, five more? Six more bars here. <laughs> okay. Really? Another gimme candy? Oh my gosh, are you serious? I got three gimme candies. <laughs> Told you, I'm obsessed. I don't remember getting three. Two, I can see. Three, I, I don't know. Graham Cracker Crunch. This is really delightful. I don't know if I'm going to club this. It's pretty popular, so I think it will come back again. It might even stick in the catalog year-round. This is delightful with that peanut butter note in here. And it's a great mixer with anything. I've mixed it with um, Cran Apple Crumble. And it was really good. And apple cherry strudel. I've mixed it with different things. Um, but yeah. Oops. Did mixer good on its own. Speaking of apple cherry strudel, this is the best cherry scent, in my opinion, that Scentsy has ever made. So good. It smells just like the canned cherries. Mm. And in fact, I think this maybe made me crave those because I made a dessert for Christmas that, that had those. And um, it was delish, but yeah, apple cherry strudel. I love it. And again, it doesn't have like the cinnamon spice notes. It's just a really great bakery cherry. And then that apple adds a little bit of extra brightness. So good. Is this the same pile? I think this is the same grab cracker crunch I already showed you. Next one is very snowy spruce. I got this for Maddie. Um, she loves this scent. I recently had a customer order the, a bar of this 
and Maddie sniffed it and loved it. And actually, I gave Maddie the, I have an oil in the same note, very snow, snowy spruce that um, she's been going through. It's just a classic pine scent. So today's actually the day after Christmas. Um, I think I'm getting a little bit past the pine here, but Maddie enjoys it. And she said that she would, you know, warm it into the into the new year. And then another one that's really been a love of mine this season, the last bar we have here is Silver Bells. And this will go in my club. I'm I'm grateful that it did come back before I realized, you know, how good it was because now I do have another chance to club it. This is, I have this going in my living room right now. So for Christmas day, we hosted and I did Actually, it was closer to two and a half bars in my open concept living room kitchen area of silver bells and then two cubes of um, vanilla mint in my bathroom. And it's delightful. It's pretty complex, but it has that um, peppermint, but it's not overwhelming like a candy cane peppermint. It's got pear, caramel. You really have to kind of uh, smell it through its whole cycle to experience experience a scent. Um, I also kind of feel that way about frosted vanilla because it does change as it goes through its melting. But yes, this is a classic for a reason and this is going in my club. Most of these are probably going to go in my club at the end of the season, but at least I have stocked up a little bit. That's it. That's my 27 items. I spent less than $100 on all of this, um, which when you think about it, like these are normally $30 on their own. So had a great deal um if you guys have not hosted a party um talk to your consultant about it because it's as simple as having an open link and not having to like actually throw a party if you don't want to so really some great benefits or become a consultant yourself and then host your own parties that's I always have a party open for myself so anyway thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video bye guys